अच्छा ओके सो दिस इज द फिफ्थ सेशन ऑफ द जावा स्क्रिप्ट क्लास आई थिंक करेक्ट बिफ आई रॉन्ग हाँ सो दिस इज द फिफ्थ सेशन नाउ इफ वी वर टू बी स्टिकिंग टू द प्लान ओरिजिनल प्लान देन आई वुड बी टेकिंग योर क्लास बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई एम अनवेल सो प्रतिश विल बी फिलिंग इन फॉर बी एंड आई विल बी टेकिंग द नेक्स्ट क्लास विच विल बी मोर ऑफ अ रिकैप ऑफ एवरीथिंग वी हैव डन एंड लाइक एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन हियर एंड देयर इफ वी हैव टाइम सो आज यू विल मोस्टली बी डूइंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड ऑल दैट ऑब्जेक्ट्स एडिंग द सेट्स प्रतिश विल बी डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड अगेन प्लीज सेंड इन योर नेम्स चैट पे सो दैट वी कैन गेट द अटेंडेंस um your name class in section theek okay? hai uh, that will help us to take your attendance and participation like this is something i've been saying every class now but participation in the classes and the assignments that you submit um don't send it through chat don't send it through chat or uh, dm me ha acha ha discord whatsapp dm pratish on discord theek okay, hai so uh, do that and also your participation in um, like the classes and the uh, assignments that you submit they will reflect uh, that will be reflected at the end of the session when we grade you on based on your performance but that is something you don't really need to worry about because everybody has been fairly active and we hope that you share our enthusiasm as we come to the like come to the end of this program okay so this is like the second last class or we store about speed karte rehna and then you will have uh, no obligation about so i think that's it this you can take over okay okay so guys today we will be mainly focusing on uh, objects um i'll be sharing my screen now um if you all can see please inform me um, yes we can see good good right so unlike the last time this time we have a proper talk that i can follow so that's good but uh, right so we'll be starting with objects and as you can see objects are like objects are whatever they are most of the things that you can create in javascript right some of the variables uh like strings for example can be javascript uh, arrays can be javascript uh, arrays can be objects a uh, strings can be objects integers are uh, declared with the new method uh, with the new keyword can be objects as well so there are a lot of uh, things that can be considered as objects in javascript uh, they are basically things that store data values as you can see uh, and like there are various methods of storing objects and initializing objects so uh, that's that um, the other thing with objects is that uh, you can store multiple properties or multiple uh, types of data in an object in the form of name value pairs right as you can see this example we have declared a variable person right this person is now equal to something which a lot of uh, a lot of python people will consider dictionaries right uh, this is something similar to dictionaries this is also an object but Uh, all these name age fab color height all of these things are properties of the object right and in these properties we store different data values right so for example the name uh, property of person stores the string john the age property of the person stores 31 which is his age in years fab color stores the favorite color of the person uh, as uh, data as data in using the fab color keyword then they then his height is stored using the height uh, name value pair so like these uh, properties actually describe uh, all the properties or all the items there are in a particular variable right this is called uh, this is a way of uh, declaring objects using properties right now what like what are uh, like now when you declare an uh, object right you usually assign it multiple properties all of these properties having some property values right now how do you initialize an object right how do you make it such that you know this is what you uh, like this is uh, the outcome of the object right this is what you can get out of the object 
right? How do you initialize those objects, right? So creating objects that have their uh, name value pairs is pretty simple. There are basically two methods you can do this. The first method is using uh, the new keyword, which is basically done like var a. Uh, new, let's say. Right. Then you can declare, let's say A has a property. Let's say A, A, let's say A is swap nil, right? Now swap nil has a property called name, right? So we can define swap nil's name by giving the swap nil dot name method, right? These things which you use after the dot, like as I've explained slice split in the first class, you might uh, in the first or the second class, I don't remember honestly, but uh, these methods, I think I explained methods in our for, uh, in the previous classes, right? Methods are basically something that acts on a particular variable to give a desired output or is you or a desired value, right? So in this case, swapnil dot name makes a name property to the variable swapnil, right? Now we can say the swapnil has a property called name. And we can assign it the value of a string called swap nil. Uh, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, we can assign it the value swap nil, right? Now, let's say we want to store swap nil's age in the object, right? How do we store swap nil's age? Swap nil's age. Yeah. Can be stored in a, huh? Can you repeat? Then this is just name. After the what we are writing, name and age. These are the things that are given by us, or are they predefined? These are given by us. We can store as many things as we want, right? We can store swap names, age, birth, uh, date, address his mom's name, dad's name, sister's name, whatever we want using the dot method, right? Whatever we uh, store in this dot age, whatever we store here, this becomes his name. So let's say, uh, for example, we want to print, let's say, Swapnil's age and Swapnil's name, right? We just, con we just console.log Swapnil. Now, if you console.log swap nil, it will print everything that is there in the object, right? Not specifically his name or his age. For that, you have to mention the keyword age or the keyword name, right? Then it will, print, uh, if you mention the keyword name, then it will print swap nil. Now, and if you uh, enter the word age, then it will print age. So you have to be careful as how you declare them and whatever you declare them as you can just print them accordingly. Right. But for now I want to print both of them. So I'll run it like this and it will print the name. Now, as we can see here, right. The name Swapnil's name is being stored as a name value pair inside that object, right? The problem, the name of the property here is name and the name of uh, the property value is Swapnil, right? Uh, as we can see in the second case, the name of the property is age and its value is 16, right? So this is a basic way of uh, initializing or declaring objects as name value pairs. And these objects can also be called, uh, these objects can also be called properties, but uh, properties actually means the things that are stored in the objects. So I'll like to refer them with the name objects. Right. So now, as we have covered earlier, if you use the dot name keyword, then it will print swap nil's name. Right. If we use the dot age, then it should print his age, so on and so forth. Like when, right. we, are, uh, when we are printing both in Y, it's coming in inverted commas, the name. Yeah, because, yeah, because see, when you are storing something inside an object using inverted commas or using first commas, right? Both of them denote the same thing, which is a string, right? So it does not really matter if the output comes as 
uh, double uh, in double quotes or in single quotes because the whole thing uh, the name swapnil is stored as a string so even if we did this it would uh, even if we did this it won't uh, show a uh, swapnil as an integer right it would still show swapnil as a string right so it really does not matter in what uh, quotation it is getting printed right and we are writing it, uh, dot log swapnil dot age it's show it's coming without inverted commas and but when we are printing both then it's coming with inverted commas like in the output why is it in the like output that? the name swapnil is coming acha that is because when you are yeah that is because when you are referring to swapnil dot name javascript is understanding that you are referring to a string right so instead of printing the string in inverted commas it is just understanding that yeah this name value pair contains a string so i'll just remove the inverted commas because it is safe to do so but when we are printing the uh, when we are printing the whole object right then javascript does not go inside and see each and every uh name value pair to see if it's an object or uh, to see if it's a string or not right the proper property values are strings or not right it just prints them as they are stored but when you are printing the whole object uh, sorry when you are printing uh, like with the keywords right for example swapnil dot name and such javascript is understanding that swapnil dot name is referring to a string that's why it's omitting the quotations before and just printing the words inside the quotation is it clear yes yes thank right. you right. Uh, excuse me so, i hello am i audible huh yeah yeah uh, i'm sorry i joined right now i had an online i had not an online class i had a tuition going on uh, what are we doing currently yeah we are not doing much Yeah, oh, we are not doing much. Okay. We have just started objects, and uh, yeah. So, will I go through like a quick overview of objects? Yeah, you, uh, just I'll watch the video again, but like in this, a quick overview would be yeah. And good. like objects are basically most of the things that store data in JavaScript, right? Variables, strings, arrays, such. Uh, they are all JavaScript objects, right? And a uh, key way of storing or a very common way of storing uh, like data in objects is in form of something called properties right how do you store that in uh, store that uh, store in form of properties you store the data in form of name value pairs you can see the right there is like a property which is named name right and uh, assigned to that property is a string john which indicates that the name value of this object is john right and same, uh, the same thing goes to age right age is a property which is assigned the property value of 31 so we know that for the age property of the object person is uh, equal to 31 right is that clear uh, okay Whoever's so asking? i have a question what then yeah. in this case what would the difference be between a variable and a property right variables uh, no no properties can be stored inside variables right variables are anything oh. that can store data right if you mean to if you want to know the uh, difference between objects and uh, normal data then objects are like you can store multiple things in objects and objects are basically anything right It's, normal strings are as all stop objects but this is so in this example what would be call the object like what is the object over here the object is person okay okay so right. okay and the object has properties name age fav color and height right and all of these properties have property values right property values of john 31 green and height so when you call the property of a particular object you get its displayed property value right so as you can see here if i uh, uh if i declare an object by the way this is one way of de declaring an object i'll be moving on to the other way uh if we declare an object such that it has two values 
uh, two properties name and age and if we call if we want to console dot the name of that particular object will write the name of the object and then dot name which is basically dot the keyword we want to get the property value of right or dot property right and we'll get the property value of such and if we run we'll get the name which is swap mail which has been stored here if we write age we'll get the age of the object swap mail as it has been stored earlier right and if we is want multiple uh, uh things value being shown if you want multiple values being shown we have to you can't like uh specify like if you can like uh specify the number of values that you want to print by doing this but if you want to uh print the whole object right then you can just yes. run swap nil and you'll get oh, the whole object okay. okay is it clear uh, yeah completely good uh so as for the second way of initializing the object just get rid of this and by the way i would not recommend using the new keyword everywhere right last class also i uh, taught you how to initialize classes using the uh, like class functions using the new keyword right but new basically calls a predefined class right and we don't use the new keyword very much in javascript or vanilla javascript right it's a more outdated method you can be uh, like right now what people use the uh, use more often is basically putting the uh, data in second brackets right you can just put it in second brackets and store them as such right for example uh you can store swap right you can store swap nails name like this you can store swap nails age like this right and it will do the same thing it won't uh, change the output or anything it will do the it will basically act as the same thing right um wait a second uh how do i pause my screen share i'll just stop it for a second i'm getting multiple pings um right I'll just close WhatsApp then. Right, I'm sorry for the disturbance. Uh, I'll move on. Uh, so, right, how much did we do? Yeah. So, basically, nothing really changes. You can still call the properties by doing swap nil dot property. It will uh, swap nil dot property name. It will do the same thing. It's no different from using the new keyword, but I do recommend you store objects like this because it's frankly much easier to do and you can like it's the more uh, followed method as well right so moving on right swapnil did you store the slides uh, like horizontally where swapnil is in the meeting um yes he is there uh, never mind i'll do the rest account right right Achha, so as you can see this is the, this is the way i've been using until now to call like the properties of a particular object right now this is a particular way you can do it but there's another alternative way right what is that way i'll be showing you that way right the other way of calling properties of an object is by using the third brackets right or the square brackets right now how do i call the property value right now we can call the property values by putting it uh, putting the name of the property in in uh, in quotation marks right and we can write swapnil name right and it will print the name right now if you want to know swapnil's age we'll do swapnil dot age uh, swapnil third bracket uh in in inverted commas age and we'll get the age now if you do something like this it'll throw an error because it does not know what age means right so basically what is happening is that when you call the property of a javascript object using the third brackets it basically checks for a string 
inside the third bracket. Now, if I store age as a variable, right? If I store age as a variable, which has a string value of age, and if I write age in here, now it will work, right? Because now age is being, con uh, now what is happening is a JavaScript is basically seeing the console log statement. It's going into the Swapnil object. Then it's searching for whatever is inside the third bracket, right? But in this case, it is like replacing the variable age with its value, which is age, right? And then it's just searching the string, uh, searching the object Swapnil for anything that has the property name of age and then it's displaying age, right? Did people get this or do I have to explain it again? Uh, people. Um, it's clear, but I'm not getting many answers. I don't think it's clear. Anyone else? This is the second way of like uh, naming an object. The first one was that uh, var is equal to new object. Like, yeah, uh, using a type of class. Way, yeah. like, no, no, no. But I taught the second way. Until, uh, do you understand of how? Uh, did you understand how to call properties of an object? I can just like, say about that uh, square bracket. Yeah, 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 I'll be explaining. That's right. So as you know, if I want to get the particular property, which is name of the object swap nil, right? Then I'll need to call the dot method and then I'll write whatever property name I want to find. Uh, like, let's say I want to find out the name property, right? Then I'll just run it and I'll get swap nil's name this way, right? But this is only one of the two ways of calling the property values of an object, right? Property names of an object, I mean, right? What is the other way? The other way is using third brackets, right? But it differs somewhat uh, from the earlier method, as in you have to search for the property name within quotation marks, right? So you will be opening the third brackets, then you will be writing the property name in quotation marks. Now, if you do not give the quotation marks, you won't be getting any values, right? You will be getting an error straight up, right? Uh, let me just show you um, what happens if I don't give the quotation marks. See, so the name is not defined because it can't search anything that's not a string, right? In case of the third brackets, it can't search for any property name, which is not a string. So you'll first have to put it in inverted commas, right? But you can also put variables here, right? For example, I've declared a variable here, which is called age, right? And age has a string value, right? Now it can't be anything other than a string value. I'll be uh, telling that first. It can't be anything other than a string value, right? Now, if I write swap nail age, then what will happen? What will happen is that it this age variable will get replaced by its uh, value, which is the age string during the execution of the program, right? So what this program will uh, finally run, uh, finally be like, will be like this, right? So it will have the property name in inverted commas, uh, in inverted commas again, and therefore the program will run. Is it clear? Or do I need to explain again? Yes, yeah, it's clear. Thank you. Right. Can I see the chat? Yeah. Okay. Question. Can you declare an object without using a variable? Can I declare an object without? Well, you can't declare an object. Declaring anything means you have to use some sort of a variable, right? That's what declaration means. You can't declare, like you can't declare data values without using a variable, right? And a variable basically stores all data. So if you declare an object without a variable, then we can define an object. What do you mean by define an object, Rishabh Chaudhary? Uh, I don't, I don't understand uh, what do you mean by define an object. 
an object is anything that has a data value, right? Pretty much everything in JavaScript has a data value, even functions. Uh, uh, so all of them are objects, right? Rishav, uh, can you repeat? Yeah, so if we define it by giving it data values, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you define a variable by giving it data values. The data, the data value, like see, that object itself is data, right? The object is basically we are referring to data. The name of the object is the name of the variable, right? And so like, this is the object basically, right? This is the object name or the variable name. This is the whole object. This, these are the object properties. Is it clear, Rishav? Anything on the data? Okay. Right, right. So I'll be moving on. Um, so did you all get the two ways of accessing object properties? Yes. yes. Okay. Right. So, achha. so, uh, this, this is basically not a very needed thing, but you know, methods, right? A method for getting, you know, like the length of whatever you want to get, right? For example, I know, I want to know how many characters are there in Swapnil's name, right? Then I can just call this length method, right? What does it do? It's not a method actually. It's more like a property of a property, but right. So it basically tells you how many letters or how many characters to be precise are there in Swapnil's name, right? Now, if I run this. I'll see Swapnil's name has seven characters, right? But if I add a few, let's say underscores to his name, which there are, uh, which are there in his original name, then we'll find out that he has actually got 11 characters in his name, right? So is the length method, uh, is the length property clear? Like what are, what is the length property of any string, for example, is it clear? Yes. Good. Let's move on then. Right. So is this the next one? I think. Yeah. Right. Right. So how do you declare functions? within an object. You know the methods I've been talking about until now, right? Methods like slice, they are all stored or they all come pre-built with an object, right? So they can only be applied to the object, right? And since uh, things like split and slice come with, you know, JavaScript itself. So they are like the standard methods, right? but we can define custom methods as well. Custom methods as in the methods you create to your object, right? How do you declare a, question, a custom method? Does anyone know how do you declare a custom method? I want to, I want some guesses, right? Uh, in the chat, right? What I meant by my question was, can you declare functions in two ways? So you can use bar X is equal to function or just function. So you could do the same with objects. No, 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 no. You can't do see function is a type of object. Yes, but not all objects can be defined in the same way as functions are. And also uh, unwith, you can't just define function. Also unwith, when you are defining function like this, right? a function, let's say X, this, this is basically the same thing as so it basically just assigns it to a variable either ways. So it really does not matter. Right. Did you get the answer? Achha, Anvit. Now Arnish, what if we just write swap nil dot length? Right, let's see what happens.
राइट इट विल रिटर्न अनडिफाइंड वाई इज दैट बिकॉज स्वप्न इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट डज नॉट हैव एनी लेंथ कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स नॉट अ स्ट्रिंग दैट इट विल हैव अ सेट ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स एज लेंथ लेंथ इज नॉट डिफाइंड सो नथिंग विल हैपन no rishab length is defined length is whatever length is something that comes pre built it is always defined but swapnil dot length is the length of an object which is non existent right length does not exist for an object right but does anyone have any guesses to how you can declare a function within an object within an object i remind you as a name value pair of sorts right so i'll be going through that i let's say i want to get swapnil's age in like 2 years from they now they can be just uh, declare the function as the like the uh, like the like uh, the, after full sort of the property of ha huh? can you repeat can we just declare the function like as the property of the object yeah exactly 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 you have to define the function as a property very good right So if I want to find out Swapnil so age two years from now, I'll make a property two years from now, right? And what will be the property? The property will be a function, right? Now the function will have let's say this dot. Acha, let's not get into this. Um, let's say, uh, does the function will just calculate let's say swapnil's age two years from now so it will return what is swapnil's age two years from now it's 18 right so it will just return 18 now if i run uh wait i gave it a very bad name yeah right uh if i run this huh After argument, I oh yeah 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 sorry, right. So as you can see, it's returning whatever I can. I want to return in that function, right? I can make it do things as well, right? I want to get let's say age plus equal to let's say one, and I want to return age, right? Age plus one because age is basically uh getting taken here as a you know uh as a as a like the what to say as the string value of age right now let's move on to the to declaring functions in another way right how can you declare functions in a javascript objects in another way right there are as you can see as there are two ways of declaring a javascript object in itself there are two ways of clearing an object method as well right this function two years from now this is a method that is acting upon the object swapnil right now if we want to create this method in another way we will basically have to do this right uh excuse me for a second i'm sorry for the interval uh, let's the interference i meant let's get back right so how will i how will i you know declare a function in another way right Th that was the first way like this was basically the first way of declaring a function inside an object now i'll be showing you the second way right the second way is basically create on an object using the object class as i taught you this is how you encode the object class and now just store like two years from now as a function right 
as I taught you in the last class, this is uh, like you can create a variable and assign it a function. Just do the same thing, right? Just do the same thing. It will work the same way. Right. I'm sorry for any background noise. Uh, it's really out of my control right now. Right. So let's say we want to return 18, right? This is how we do that, right? We create a function. Uh, we create a method like this, right? We create a method first and then we give the value of the method, right? Now, if I run this program, right? Achha. Oh, wait, I might have just bought a syntax error. Uh, just a second. Um, okay. Right, I think I messed up the syntax a little bit. I just wait a second, I guess. Um, Oh, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, you actually, uh, where was I? Uh, right. I'm really sorry. You actually don't give this. You don't give this. I, I'm really sorry. I messed up the method. Right. Now you do like, this is the other way of defining a function, right? Are both the ways of defining the function clear? Like this is the second way. Uh, I need responses in chat. Yes. Anyone else? Is everyone else clear? I'll go through it again, right? The first way of doing a method is just you create an object, right? You let's say, I'll just copy this, right? You just create a property name. You assign it a value of a function, right? And then you return whatever you want to return, right? This is the first way. As we have seen, this is the first way of doing that. The, what is the other way? The other way is basically. By creating a class. What? Yeah, the other By way is using the class, right? Right. The other way is basically. Right. Is everyone clear? I need more answers, right? I just, I forgot to respond. Method, the first method using the function. Uh, I could not get your question. Can you repeat again? What was the syntax of the first like method? The one, function one. The function one, the first method. Right. This is a syntax. You just store it in form of a name value pair, right? The same way you store, let's say Swapnil's name. You store Swapnil's name in an object like this, right? You store Swapnil's yes. name in an object. Huh? Yes, yes. You store Swapnil's name in an object like this. In the same way, just replace whatever is here by a function. Can you understand? You just uh, yeah. replace. Yeah. Also, keep in mind all the properties in an object along with the property or basically all the name value pairs, right? All the pairs, not the particular properties or the names. The name value pairs are separated by a comma. They are always separated by a comma, right? They are always separated by a comma. Oh, sorry. Um, they are always separate. Uh, what? Achha. Very sad. Right. They're always separated by commas. So let's move on to our next topic.
which if I remember correctly, right, right, right. This is basic, Acha. So there's this word, right? Or like there's this keyword which is called this, right? Now this has many uses, right? It has like multiple uses, right? But we'll only study this in the con uh, in the context of using it within an object, right? We'll only we'll only get it. Uh, we'll only use it in the context of an object, right? Right. So if we go back to how our program was previously, we can just pass in name as a parameter, right? And years as well as a parameter. I think it will still work. I'm not sure. Right. Why is this getting removed? Right. So now this is the other way, right? Now we can just use swap mail dot. Oh, right. This is the other, like, what does this do? Right. This is basically, it gets the context of the object right so when i refer to this dot name what i'm really referring to is swapnail dot name right this basically refers to the object properties right so when i'm going for this dot name what i actually mean is swapnail dot name right this is uh, how you get like properties you pass on properties to a function or like uh, sorry to a method Inside an object, right? But Is it clear? Object, Can you repeat? Time. Can you repeat? I cannot hear you. So instead of writing the name of the object multiple times, we just have to write this and dot property. Yeah, right. No, 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 no. This is not a replacement, right? This uh, this does not replace anything. You can't write the name of swapnail multiple times in this function, right? Let's say if, what happens if I write swap mail. I'm not sure, but I think it will get an error or will it? Achha, no, it still refers. Achha, but still the convention is using this dot name, right? This is basically refers to the current object. And so it's pretty, it's like better to use this dot name. You can use swap mail dot name if you want. It will work, I guess, but this is basically the bookish way or the tri trial and tested method. Right, is it clear? Yes. Right. Right, let's move on to the next thing. Creating objects, right? We have already created objects. So we'll move past that, right? Object literalization or initializer syntax, right? We just studied this. This is basically the initialization syntax. I covered this already. This as well, I think I've covered it. Right, is there nothing more? Wait, this might be the rare case in which I think the syllabus is pretty short. Wait, I'll just recheck the syllabus once more. Right. Can we, right, I've got some questions in the chat. Can we declare another object inside an object? 
no you can't declare an object inside another object right anything you declare inside an object is basically a property of that object you can't declare an object inside an object can you return something like this plus yes plus yes, yes we can in fact return something like this can you see the chat uh, i mean can you see the screen i can return something like Swapnil this, right? You can return stuff if you want to return Swapnil's age. You can return that as well, right? It's all fine. Did you understand? Uh, the people who had given the question in chat understood. So, hey, is this like a variable? Huh? This part. This job here is this like a variable or something? No, this is like the uh, this basically means the current object, right? This is equal equal uh, is basically it. Um, this refers to the current object. Wait, I'm I'm really sorry for any background noises. It says I can't do anything right now. This refers to the current object, right? What is the current object here? Current object means an object in which it is initialized, right? What is the object in which it is initialized here? It's swap nil, right? It's just like an adjective. It's more like a pronoun, right? You use him. Her instead of the person's name, right? Let's say your brother, your smaller brother, ate your chocolate, right? And what uh, what are the two sentences you can use to complete to your mother, right? You can say that my smaller brother ate my chocolate, right? Or you can say he ate the chocolate, right? So he basically means you are referring to your smaller brother, right? So this is basically a similar mythology, right? The analogy is very bad, I know. But this is basically the same thing, right? Uh, did people understand? I really apologize for all the background noise and the bad analogies, but it's just a disease. Uh, did do people understand? Any information? Yes. Good. Just gonna, it was better than your previous analogies, in fact. Thank you, Anvit. Also, this is this only function inside the colibri no right we'll move on to the other thing why does this not only work for let's say the colibri right you can mean if you mean like these curly braces then you are right but no this can also function outside of these function curly braces right as well because this basically refers to the current object so Anything inside this object referred with this can be referred to as this dot that property name, right? So it works inside the object basically, not inside the function. So apologize so many things. Uh thanks. Uh, what if we use this outside the object? Will it work? Let's say if we use this outside the object and if it works or not. It does not work. Why does it not work? Because I know this is very much off the topic, but I'll be move, I'll be teaching it slightly. This basically refers in the global uh, in the very uh, in the context of the whole program to a global variable, right? A global variable which have assigned the value this. And now we don't have a global value a variable. In fact, you don't know what a global variable is. So we of course don't have it in our program right now. So you can't just call this outside the object right am i clear arnish yes good so if javascript objects are clear i'll just be teaching i'll be teaching uh uh uh, uh outside the syllabus right let's just keep it outside the syllabus a little bit right 
now what have i taught you all till now right about methods i've taught you split i've taught you uh, slice right what else can you use right also a question right i gave this question i don't think today or yesterday but what is the fourth way right for anyone who has researched after the after our previous classes what can be the fourth way of declaring a function like uh, i got to know when i googled i got to know about that arrow one one i don't exactly it's an arrow function how do you declare an arrow function you might say instead of using the word function we just use the arrow like a comma b exactly, in bracket exactly. and we just give the arrow and then we give the uh, like the work to do like a plus b and so like. what's your name very good very good right the, that is exactly how you use it right let's say we have a variable barcode no we have a, a variable swap nil right so we have a variable swap nil now i want to have a function such that it will get me all of swap nil's ages right like if i wow if i call this i will basically get all of swapnil ages right so i will create an object inside of the function right i'll name the object let's say swapnil underscore pokemon because he is a pokemon right and then i'll store all of swapnil stats inside right let's say i want to store his defense then i'll store his defense he has very bad defense so i'll give nine i'll give his nature right his count so i'll write count and so this is an object which i have declared inside a function right now i can just casually return the whole object right i'll just return the object and later on if we call console dot log swap nil then as you will be see i'll be getting his stats is that clear is that clear uh poke to copyright don't copyright me i i did not create pokemon Good, good, good. Unwitch supporting me, Chad. Right. There is not much, honestly, to teach y'all in this class, but I'll find something. Just give me two minutes. Uh, just, just, just give me two minutes. Right, right, right. I found something very interesting, which uh, right. I think I should teach you all. How? Uh, let's say I'll give you a string, right? Right. This is my string. Now, eighteen is an absolute child. So his name needs to be written in capitals, right? How do I change his whole name to capital letters? How do I change Aten's whole name to capital letters? I need apps. Uh, I need answers in chat. Like Any you can case? use that function. Which function? Yes. Upper case, absolutely right. No, I even I don't remember how to uh, if upper case is camel case or not, but we'll see. I don't usually remember syntax, so we'll try upper case like this. Let's see if it works. Uh, wait, right? You will does not work. Like you will be capital. Uh, can you repeat? I could not understand. You will be capital. You will be capital. 
अच्छा यू विल बी कैपिटल अच्छा ठीक है उसमें अच्छा राइट आई एम रियली सॉरी आई फॉरगेट राइट यू वोट वेट 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 आई जस्ट सॉच इट आउट Right. Uh, it could be right. I don't really remember. Right. It's two upper case. I'm really sorry. It's two upper case. Right. 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 So two upper case will return eight and with like all capital letters. Right. What if eight and is capital already? How do I change it to lower? It will be opposite to lower case. Let's see. Absolutely right. Now, what, what, what can I call these? What can I call these guys? Global functions. Huh? Sorry, methods or functions. You can't call these functions. These are methods. A function is this is a function, right? Like when a function is being attached to a object, it becomes a method, right? So you no longer call it a function. Is that clear? Uh, the chat, I guess. Is that clear? A method, inbuilt method. Yes, it is an inbuilt method, Arnish. It's directly there in JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript. Right. I'll I have taught you all slicing and all as well in the first class. So these are some of the uh, basic inbuilt methods. Right. If anyone has any doubts in the class so far, uh, you are free to tell me the doubts. Any doubts, any questions, anything you want me to do or say, yeah, anything regarding this class in the chat, uh, the chat is not working, no, not really vanilla. Acha, vanilla basically means the default, default JavaScript right? without installing things called packages. What are packages? Packages are basically additions. Packages are basically additions to your vanilla JavaScript to make them better or make their functionality wider. Mods. I don't really know what a mod is, so I can't really. Mod is a short form for moderator, right? So no, no, it's not a moderator kind of thing. It's like a package is basically like, um, package is basically you can say helpers, right? Modifications. Uh, not really, not really. They are less of modifications and more of additions, right? They don't change stuff in JavaScript, just add functionality. They don't deduct anything. They don't change whatever is existing, right? Did you all understand? Things that change stuff in JavaScript, they are called frameworks, right? But things that just add functionality to JavaScript, they are called packages. Did you understand, Rishabh? Good. Right. Now, what can I teach you all for the next 30 minutes since the class has to go on? I'll just look something up that I can teach you all. Uh, what is the difference between a method and function and all? Right. Teach. Uh, what do you mean, teachers show us? Wait. Uh, I saw something in chat which was very teach us how to hack a discord right I know this but I won't teach you all right it's not actually hacking but it's I won't show you all right it's it's a very bad thing you don't you don't do that right right what is the difference between a function and a method it's pretty simple uh, right this
I think this is how you do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Right. If I'm wrong, then I'm, I, I don't use this a lot, so don't judge. Right. I'm just trying myself out. Um, right. Unexpected number. Um, I just got in the last class. I can believe I forgot it. This is I think it was something like this. Right, I, I, I completely forgot. Never mind. Uh, right, uh, yes, yes. Teach me how to get people's IP so I can use it on this show. How much do you want and which day are you coming? Uh, wait. Uh, wait. I know uh, it's cheating. I'll, I'll just. Right, I don't usually use that method of making functions. Right. I don't even remember, right? Oh, it's a very... Do you all remember how to define it using that? I don't actually remember. How to, define a fun how to define a function using the new method as I taught in the last class. I taught in the last class, so some of you all should know at least, right? Uh, anyone who knows? Right, so I guess I'll be moving on. Uh, so it's basically done like this. Uh, what is it doing? Um, uh, is it not even done like this? Uh, uh, what? What is oh, right. 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 This is not Whatever. Basically, yeah. You put it inside, inverted commas, inside. Guys, please get a hold of the videos and uh, check on the videos, right? I know this is like actually not valuable you won't use this way of declaring the functions but since it's been taught in the class just kind of remember this right so this is one way of declaring a function now as you can see here the variable a is assigned to this new function right therefore the function itself is the object here right the function is an object it's not a property inside the object right it is the prop it, it is the object itself so it does not have any properties but it's an object can you all understand why it's not a method here it's basically not a method because it's not attached to a property because it is the object itself did you all understand huh antara did you not understand right Arnish your ways, right? Couldn't get it to work myself here. Right, right. I understood. Anyone else? Arnish, did you understand? Uh, uh, sorry, Arnish. I mean, Antara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Right, right, right. right. Now, 
what else can we do should i teach you a promise i need a poll i will, it is it is famously called the javascript fallback shell because promises are very difficult to deal with so do you all want to run uh, promises run what exactly what is that like actually right i'll go through the docs with uh, i'll actually give you the official definition wait promises basically refers to it's 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 like a fun it's almost uh, you can say like a function not really but like a function right can you see my screen share uh, yes i open java the pop i mean yeah so a promise is basically it does something right but the program continues on doing something until it is done it won't do anything else so it's like you know we are basically a javascript promise of it's basically an object firstly right it contains a, some code and it basically uh, acha so how do i show this right for example uh uh okay right for can i give you an example of like let's say uh why do you stop working so uh acha before that let me teach you const let and var right you know var what is var variable it is a way of declaring a variable can anyone can, right can anyone tell me what a const means a uh, constant exactly and what does constant mean in the reference of programming its value won't change uh, value value yes it's that value does not yeah, change the value can't be changed throughout the program right so if i give 19 and if i give a is equal to let's say 18 here it won't work right it won't like you know just change the values of a right you can't do that basically right so it is used when you want to declare a variable that never changes you know you can't do you don't do any addition to that variable you don't do any you know extra stuff oh right a major topic i forgot to cover right you all don't need to know let right now i'll i just yeah so in the revision class something that you won't be learning is how to set up javascript in your local environment right now what i want and to ha huh? i use left in my uh, like assignment with that not an issue is that is not an issue right what are what are you all asking me to do i'll probably get into jail stop asking me to do stuff that i can't do what do you mean by hack into google accounts no i don't do that that's very creepy never mind right how do you set up javascript in your local environment i'll be showing you that if visual studio code decides to open um wait till i stop my share screen it right now right we can use anaconda for it i uh, think you can i'm not very sure but uh, the way i do it and there are two ways essentially right one uh, easier yes. than the other i would like to say uh, wow wait visual studio code is a bad idea i think right one way is an easier and one way you can like say is the vanilla method or like the default method or the method that you know like most programmers would tell you to use can you uh, can you see wait ah uh, shit can you see my screen ah uh, wait ah uh, it's not working ah uh, yeah right if i can open a new folder i will be able to show you all 
right let's say uh, this is vs code this is sublime text uh, you don't need to know what it's a basically a text editor uh, it's like visual studio code but it's worse but i use it i don't know why i use it don't ask right oh yeah. because of the laptop or something uh, you can say you can say really maybe okay whatever uh, basically what you can do just type out in you all use visual code i'm sure right so if you so you can just be uh, in visual studio code the equivalent of this would be just you know uh, would be just doing this and then tab right it's emit uh, abbreviation and it allows you to do a lot of things right did you all understand oh no please repeat it again yeah you basically need to render in ja default ja uh, boilerplate code right how to do that in uh, in visual studio code just write this and then click the tab button you know the tab button right you all have the tab button in your keyboards right just type what do you have to type this this symbol right exclamation mark and tab in visual studio code you all can try right now it will render in some basic very basic html code now when you are when you all are done rendering in basic html code you all can just use something called the script tag now you don't need to know what the script tag is to use the script tag right and you basically just copy paste this code that i am writing right you just copy paste my code you don't have to understand what it does right now and you all make sure to join development in uh, tech club right for understanding this our session will start very soon right now if you want to let's say now you can do a lot of things right let's say console.log now how will console.log work here right that's a very interesting thing to say console.log uh, console.log will only work wait i'll pause my i'll stop my screen sharing and i'll start it in another way right i am getting a lot of things wait in my chat are you talking about indentations it's not actually any, not joining development unfortunately very sad it is and with uh right are you talking about indentation no it's not an indentation right javascript does not require you to give indentations right it's not like python if you don't give indentations your code will like run wrong or something like that it's not an indentation and you have to just press the you have to just enter the exclamation mark and then give a tab without spaces right the tab button right basically now i'll be showing you all how to run it i'll just need one second transcription to be enabled for the meeting don't ask for transcription and such because i don't know what it means uh, i won't be giving transcription during the meetings right continuing on uh, no oh, shit did i just i enable something i don't remember right what i guess no mind uh moving on if we see here right now we have written this code and what it basically does is that it links our uh, index.js to our browser right now how to open this code right how to make this code work navigate to the folder where you have stored the index.html and the where is it uh again 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 please show it from the starting like just one second right just 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 can you all wait just oh 
अच्छा अच्छा लिस्ट या सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट व्हाट यू ऑल गोट टू डू इज यू यू ऑल विल डू दिस राइट कैन यू ऑल सी दिस दिस एंड देन टैब यू विल बेसिकली गिव एन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क एंड देन टैब राइट right you are basically will give that and then this will come right what does this mean you all don't have to know it's not necessary then write script copy the code here right you, if the code is in the video by the way like which will be uploaded on youtube in a few hours so you can just take a recap i won't be giving you a two hours class this is a second last class by the way right this is a this is also basically the last class where we will be actually taught something the next class will be a revision class right so i have done my work in html right now then i can go to the index.js file which i have stored nearby anywhere basically but it needs to be in the same folder right then i can console.log19 for a very basic thing now navigate to the folder where you have done this and double click on the index.html file now you will notice that it will open up in your browser can you all see this mm, yes now if i open now how do you open the console in the browser do you, does anyone know how do we open the console in the browser or the browser console we just do control shift and i yes. together right ha huh? no i said no 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 we yeah. do con we do the ctrl button we do the shift button right and we do the i i button all at the same time that right? we press all of these at the same time for it to work and now you have your console and let, as we can see i have got 19 here which ah oh shit which i meant to console.log in my initial index.js code right do you all understand Do you all understand? Mm, I have yes. got questions in the chat. Would we use BSC in a professional setting? Right, Moitro. Uh, to answer your question, Visual Studio Code is actually a very brokenly popular, uh, what to say, editor, right? A text editor, because it has got the features that maximum integrated development environments have. What are integrated developments or uh, environments or ides ides are basically ides are basically like you know things that help you code they have these tools and these shortcuts and stuff that help you code right and vsc is very similar right vsc has something called emmet which makes writing html and javascript which makes html easier vsc also has extensions which make writing other things easier so to answer your question yes vsc is used by professionals a lot is that clear uh, yeah so moving on moving on right how do i declare a function here let's say i want to declare a function person right we let's say we want to declare a person right and now person will just console dot log or let's say person will return let's say 19 plus 2 this is what it will return right now i'll just show you a very simple method of how you can call functions in the browser uh, in in the browser basically right without actually writing the like 
how do i call function how did i call function in our previous online id i used to do like the function name and then this right hmm. now the broken method is that the broken method is that now we can do the same thing but not here we can do the same thing in the browser console right the console allows you to write stuff into it right now we can just call the person function here we can just write code almost right we can literally write code here right we can call person here can't be can we call function person here we can call person here right if we call person here see we are getting the like why do we need to do that like why are we doing it on chrome like right? you yeah you browser. don't need to do that like this is just a feature that i am telling you all you all can just do this right like are there any users for this huh are there any users for this are there any users for this um you 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 usually use this to debug your code or to check for errors right because if there are any errors this is how you check you can like manually go like in a realistical situation right there will be thousands of functions in your program in your big app let's say right now you want to check each and every function right you can't just call every function at the end of the file right that will take a lot of effort and you won't really understand what is working because the errors will like keep on stacking in on top of each other so an easier method is just going into the uh, browser console and calling each and every single function line by line right so you can find out any errors if there are any can you all understand um, yes huh yes good right now to the second method it's not my favorite method to be honest but it's a method right it requires a lot of setup to right what do you have to do you have to first install something called load js right i'll teach you all how to install just click this button in this link right you all can see the link here just remember the link or copy the link write it somewhere for reference i'll give the link later in resources right but this link basically will take you to this page well you have to click, click this button right and it will download a file all you need to do is just execute that file just execute like how you install all other applications just install that file right then node chess and then like there will be some or uh, settings and all you can do them as you wish right but basically if you after you install the file completely your setup is done now what do you need to do you can just disregard the html file you don't need to create an html file get lost html right what you can do is basically you can uh Uh, wait, right. What you can basically do is you can open the terminal of your particular system, right? Your particular system meaning like whatever you have right now, right? Like uh, you can be on Linux and you need to open whatever terminal you have. On Windows, it's the command prompt. On Mac, I don't even know what it's. I will tell you it's on Mac, right? Go to the directory that you want to be in, right? Or in which. your file is saved basically right then uh wait i'll just do that quickly right now i am in the directory where my file is stored now what i can do is i can basically do node index.js and it will run that particular program in the terminal itself and it will display the output here is that clear guys did anyone not understand it's pretty simple actually but it's uh, it requires a lot of setup right you need to install node right did you all understand i need confirmation in chat right no right 
you who did not understand what's your name web of web of right so i'll go again right i just want like what do you mean about the node this document ha huh? can you repeat the thing we just said about this like the terminal one the documents about in the app ha huh? can you repeat can you repeat your voice is very faint actually just a minute if you can write that in the chat it will be very helpful uh, right so you, you did like it mohit so good did you write a doubt in chat uh web of leave it acha no web of don't leave it dm me your doubt if it's uh, too difficult to write now or i'll get back to you later at the end no, of the class no, no. it's okay acha then it's fine right so i'll go through the steps once again install something called node js from this particular website it is called node js.org right install this one right just go click here it will install a file you just need to run the file or install the file once the installation is complete then you will have the setup done next thing that you need to do is uh next thing that you need to do is just create a file right create any file uh create any uh, create a file with any name but give the extension as js right dot js you all need to be very careful about the dot js extension if you don't give the dot js extension it won't work it simply won't work right then you can write whatever you want like whatever code you want whatever code you basically want Right. Right. So this is a functional car that I have created. Now, I want to create a function in which I'll pass the car. Right. and i'll name the function let's say x right in which in which i can just basically do like uh if we are doing car right then we can just basically do car uh acha if we are basically uh uh let's say yeah, right 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 um Let's say we can do car x. I think yeah, car x would be better, right? Now we just want this dot name, right? We'll return let's say this dot name. Right. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure if this will work actually, but let's find out. X. I'll just pass in car. Right. I'll save this. Remember to save this. If you don't save this, it won't work. Right. Then CD to whatever you want to CD to, like whatever is your directory currently. Right. Right. Now currently it is giving undefined because this dot name does not exist. I think, therefore, 
we can just do something which is a bit complex, but I think you all will understand. Uh, we can do car x dot name. So what this basically does, right? It basically, Achha, no, I have taught functions, right? Can you all explain what this does? I have taught functions, right? As far as I remember. Can anybody open their mics and explain what this does? What that car this yeah. the, what, what, what will it console log and how will it reach this conclusion? The program it will log uh, nano. Why will it log nano? Can you explain? Or like, can uh, you give a brief to, gist? to the variable x is uh, like we defined it by the value of the. So no, we defined it by a function which will return the car x dot name. Right, but how is it getting car x dot name to be narrow? You are you because are very close. Whoever, uh, can you repeat? You are going good. Or can you repeat? No, it was All not me. Your, huh? Like we have defined like it's an object. We are using the object uh, like the your object defined. We are using okay, the properties. Right. We are using properties of an object, but how is car X getting assigned the properties of car? Because we are using constant cars, so like uh, the values are fixed, something like that. Oh uh, no, actually. We are hmm. getting the values of car to be similar to that uh, car X to be similar to that of car is because car x here is a parameter right and a parameter uh, a, a parameter it's basically standing for a parameter right so when uh, this is basically accepting a parameter right so whenever we call the function x whatever we write here in the first bracket right like here we are calling the function x right here we are declaring the function here we are calling the function and while calling the function we are giving the variable car as the parameter in the first brackets. Now, what will the pro program do right now? It will basically uh, assign the value of car to car X because car X is accepting the parameter that is car, right? So this car X is getting replaced by car here. And therefore this just became car dot name. Can you all understand? I think I was pretty uh, clear last class. At least y'all said it was clear last class. And I think I defined, uh, I taught you functions in the last class. Is it clear? No, that thing is okay. But why, like, can you just repeat that? Why did car X and car became like, they were interchanged and used? They were not interchanged, right? Car X was like they were the value of car. Car X was assigned the value of car because we are passing car as a parameter in the function, right? What is a parameter? A parameter is basically a variable. You can almost think of this as a variable which is waiting to accept a value, right? Right now, car X means nothing. If we don't pass in car, then car X means nothing, right? Because it's just a parameter, right? It's an empty parameter. It does not have any values. But the moment we pass in car in while calling the function, what basically happens is the this parameter value, the value of this parameter becomes the value of car, right? So this becomes the value of the parameter. And therefore, when we do car x dot name, it basically what it does is it does car dot name. Therefore, we get the name of the car, which is nano. Did you understand? Yes. Good. Like if you have any doubts, because there are, JavaScript is definitely confusing, right? So if you all have any doubts, do speak up. As I can see, there are nine people in the class. So 
আহ অর্চিষ্মান একটু বন্ধ করে দেয় মিটিংটা ফার্স্ট